Hi! In this video, we will learn what data is sent by Touche or Touche SE when the devices aren't connected with a companion app Lie. If Touche doesn't detect Lie on your computer, then it will automatically switch itself to standalone mode. This means that it will work as any other USB MIDI class compliant device. As long as you provide power through the USB connection, it will continue to send control signals through all of its ports. You could even just hook the device up to a smartphone charger, a power bank or any other USB host device with a strong enough current. When the classic Touche is in standalone mode, you can cycle through 24 customizable internal hardware presets. The LEDs use color coding to indicate which internal memory slot is active. There are six banks in total, each containing four presets. Each hardware preset can include up to 8 MIDI CCs with completely customizable response curves, plus simultaneous pitch bend. Also, a preset can be set up to send a specific program change message when loaded. That way, Touche can dial up the corresponding sound in the hardware synth that the mapping was made for. In addition to the MIDI configuration, each hardware preset also defines the four control voltages that the classic Touche can send. Voltages can range from minus 10 to plus 10 volts, and the response curves can of course also be adjusted in every little detail. In order to play your hardware preset in standalone mode, you need to have it saved on your Touche. And this means you'll need to connect Touche to Lier ahead of time and transfer the presets that you plan to use. You can do this by going to Menu and then selecting Memory View. When you first purchase Touche, all 24 memory slots are filled with a default hardware preset that is pre-configured to send CC 16 to 19, one for each axis. We explained how this default CC configuration works in our last video about how Touche communicates when connected with Lie. In standalone mode, both the standard MIDI jack and the USB MIDI output will send customized messages as configured in whichever hardware preset you currently have loaded. Normally, you would hook up your hardware synth via the standard MIDI jack. But if you own a hardware synth or another device that can act as a USB host, then you can both send MIDI CCs and power your Touche using a single USB cable. But just using the USB port is also helpful if you want to directly control an instrument or an effect inside your computer that for some reason can't be hosted inside Lie. Touche SE doesn't feature 24 internal memory slots like the flagship Touche, but it does still have a standalone mode. When it's in standalone mode, its LEDs will turn a salmon color. And just like when it is in slave mode, the number of lit LEDs indicate the sensitivity. By default, Touche SE will continue to send the known quartet of MIDI CCs as requested by Lie. But you can also customize the standalone behavior using Lie. To do this, go to Menu and then MIDI Setup. Just as with Touche, Touche SE standalone mode allows the device to be used not only with a computer, but also in any device that can act as a USB host. For example, if you know your way around Eurorack modules, you could hook up your device to an Expert Sleepers FH1 or FH2, translating the four MIDI CCs to all kinds of other control signals. That does it for this detailed look into how Touche and Touche SE communicate with synthesizers when they are not connected to the companion app Lie. If you want to learn how to customize the standalone behavior of your Touche or Touche SE, check out some of the other videos linked in the description. Thanks for watching.